the first girl in state history to score two touchdowns in a high school football game. It wasn't until later that night that I got the, the text message that was like, by the way, just so you know, like, you just broke a record. Wait, what? There's nothing about her that makes it any different between her and another teammate. She's tough. She's as tough a kid as I've ever coached. It was literally in her DNA to be tough. I'm just gonna go out there and play football. I can't walk onto the field scared. I started playing football when I was six years old. In true Bella style, I mean, she just fit right in. As far as speed training goes, that's like a huge part of it. We spend so much time learning how to run correctly, it's crazy. There's been a lot of times where I'll do like 10, 10 yard sprints and you'll have two plates on your sled, like running back and forth. Her freshman year, she was doing things that, that felt more natural to her. She wanted to do her own thing and not see the hole the way she should have. So I had to literally say, Bella, you are not doing what you're coached to do. And the next play, she literally took the ball, hit the hole between the tackles right in the B gap and scored a 20 yard touchdown. It's phenomenal. Any adversity I felt between like size difference and the physicality and it's like, it was just my own want to compete with them that like allowed me to, to be successful. You never saw her buckle, never saw her waver, and she's as tough a kid as I've ever coached. Her confidence as far as like knowing that she has a place here of just being a football player, that's 1,000% the, the biggest growth I've seen from her. There definitely was some apprehension. When she did get that age and she said, I do want to actually join, I'm like, how, is she going to be accepted as a girl? How is she going to handle herself? How is she going to hold up during tackling? We kind of knew that she was such a tough kid that she would probably be okay, so it was, all right, let's try this. I fell in love with it like the first day I put on pads. She was actually more prepared. Uh, I think she might have been the only uh, player that had played tackle football coming to Laguna Beach, so she was actually very prepared from the football side. My first initial reaction was that she was a tough kid. She came in, she took hits, she took handoffs, she did everything she was asked of to. Um, so I didn't see any difference really. Being the only girl, first it was very different because a lot of my teammates were just getting used to it, but it didn't take long for them to stop seeing me as oh, we have a girl on our team, and rather just like we have another teammate, another person who wants to play. She quickly earned the respect of all of her teammates once we got into gear and, and started whacking each other around. Something about being on a football field very much felt like home. I liked being there and just like pushing myself in like a different way than I'd ever been pushed before. She always said, I'm gonna play all the way through varsity, and we were always like, the boys are gonna get bigger next year, the boys are gonna get bigger next year. I was like 15 when I started playing varsity football, up against linebackers who are like 220, 6'2", and they're like 18 years old, right? But I was so excited to play, because it was like, varsity football is, was the goal. Not being the strongest, not weighing the most, not being the fastest. I was expecting that, I knew that. There's physical differences between a male athlete and a female athlete, especially when you're in a sport like football, because it is a male-dominated sport. I just had to work harder. I had to put in 100% every day just to be able to compete with these guys. No matter what I'm going to be put up against, I know I'm going to make it to the other side. If I get absolutely ran over by that Mike linebacker right now, I know I'm going to get back up. History in the books. A local high school senior became the first girl in state history to score two touchdowns in a high school football game. We knew it was going to happen because she's a, she's a solid running back. And I got tackled in the end zone. And I literally like, can vividly rem remember like how my face like lit up and my eyes were like this wide. Come on, Come on Bella! Because yeah! yeah! it was such like an emotional moment for me because I felt like finally everything that I've been doing since I was a kid, like it was finally worth it. Hands down one of the best feelings I've ever had coaching. All right, so I did it one time, like I, I can do it again. And that whole one was just like pure like, I did it. It wasn't until later that night that I got the, the text messages that was like, by the way, just so you know, like, you just broke a record, like, you just scored yourself a record, and I was like, wait, what? Like, that was part of it? Like, to add on? And then things kind of just exploded after that, especially off the field. Running us down on Sports Center, number 24, for the Laguna Beach Breakers at running back Bella Rasmussen. It's been surreal. It's been crazy. We've really thought that all the publicity and stuff would die down like within a week or two after it happened, and it's like. <laughs>
<laughs> there's been no slowdown in sight. And so on one hand, you have these like incredible, like life is so different for her and what we do and stuff like that. And on the other hand, life is completely the same, you know? So it's still like, you know, do your homework, clean your room. You also are going to the Super Bowl. After like the two touchdowns, my now like agent, Michael, he reached out to me. He was just like, hey, congratulations on your two touchdowns. Have you ever considered anything in the NIL space? What are things that you think are important? And I was like, I want to stress the importance of mental health. So when Keywise reached out and told me that their mission was, was mental health and they said that they wanted to partner, I was like, absolutely, like, where's the contract? I'll sign it. I'm so happy that the NIL deal is in the mental health space. Like, I'm so glad that that's the headline. One thing I felt like I always wanted to do in my life was I wanted to help people, to help people and be a friend and be supportive and, and encourage people to follow their dreams. To finally have the platform to really do that and actually like succeed on this goal, like my life goal at 17 years old, that's incredible. I couldn't ask for anything more. But it's encouraging girls to be like, look, she played football and she's successful. Like it takes her somewhere. It's taking her places. Like it's opening doors. No matter what she does in life, as she works hard at it, she can do whatever she wants. She's worked her butt off for four straight years to, to have tremendous success and there's no doubt in her future is gonna be successful as well. So you know if flag football's gonna be in the Olympics in 2028? That's the next goal. I wanna go to the Olympics. Like let's put you the US, like let's go represent them as girls in football. Cause this is a movement we've started now. Like it's been a long time coming, but it's starting now and it's only gonna progress more and more. That's gonna be huge, huge. No days off is it's like, did you do the best that you could do today? Like, did you do everything that you wanted to, everything that you had the confidence to do? Like, if you have no regrets, like, congratulations, you've had one more no days off.